What is going on YouTube Sins and Johnny and I'm bringing you part 2 of my um, Shinonuma World at War gameplay thingy magic with my friend Aaron. That's good enough introduction I think there guys. And you can see I'm trying to get a better gun than a Thompson. So I'm box hogging a little while. Which weren't the cleverest idea I will admit guys. And as you can see i am got my Thompson back. <coughs> Excuse me guys. I've got my Thompson back. So... Would say that was pointing this box, I could have just bought the ammo for it. As I mentioned in the previous part, I've got the PPSH and I've got and I've got the Thompson again. So we're gonna go we're looking for Juggernaut now. And I I just have a hunch it might be in Doctor's Quarters. I just had a bit of a hunch it could be there. And see so I, I need Juggernaut to be a decent zombie. As I keep mentioning, I what told Aaron to watch himself because I'm bringing the zip line now. I have not killed Aaron before with the zip line. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, I just love that as I'm having just stood there and took it. Was my hunch right about? Was my hunch right? Well, of course it was right. I knew it would be there. Usually is. So I'm only 500 points away. So I said to Aaron, let's play. Let's get the rec next round started so we can burn by Juggernaut at the end of it so we can actually start moving around the map. Of course, I wanted the zombie kills because then that would make me a bit close to it. But no, nope, Aaron decides to get them. Okay, guys, so I've, I've had enough digging at Aaron. He's a really nice guy, as I mentioned before. He's, he's a brilliant zombie player. And I think I speak for him here that he is, like me, looking forward to Black Ops 2 zombies. What I'm going to say, though, guys, it's simple. It's simple. We're going to use um, a very simple tactic which works for ages and ages until about high teens when all of a sudden it all goes disastrously wrong and it will. It will keep you amused. Just stay, bear with us for these rounds. I'm just being barriers, seeing if I can get enough points naturally without killing the zombies. Can I? Probably not. No, I don't. And I've got to watch that hangman. Now, as Sam, um, after Sam fall on the ground, I kind of have to watch where I'm standing because I've got, I'm just dreading if I stand on him. And I've, I'm just repairing barriers. You see, I've got every achievement for zombies now, you see. So, I've done the 200, um, repaired 200 boards, I did that straight away. I did it at round one, I just kept the zombie by a window and just kept repairing it. <laughs> and now, come on, I've almost got enough, look how close, you can't get much closer. Six foot, look at our little look, Betty area here, lads, and lasses out there. It's great, isn't it? Now, what you're going to see is a great tactic, with sleight of hand jug, you're almost unstoppable here. See, my dream weapon combination... For this map would be probably uh, gun off the wall, which you get my ammo for. Maybe a, probably a trench gun near the end for dogs. Um, trench gun, magnum, something like that. Something along them lines, which would be good. Um, so that's really powerful, good for taking out dogs. And then I'll have like, let's say, a heavy machine gun, like an MG or MG Browning, or even a PPSH. PPSH just chews ammo ridiculously quick, but it's really powerful. And then I'm, I'm going to have the Wunderwaffel. See, I don't want to use the ray gun. I don't like using the ray gun on this map. So the splash damage is pretty high as well. Excuse me. Oh, sorry, guys. And what you can see, guys, is that we're not... Me and Aaron are still having not yet going to our defensive position. But I'm terrified that Aaron could go down. He almost went down there. I've told Aaron to get back now because... The zombies are starting to push a bit further forward, and if he goes down, I won't, I'm not sure whether I'll be able to get him. You can see our Betty area is, uh, there's a lot of Bettys there, and guys, remember all them Bettys there. They will s save my life, they will come to save my life in a few seconds' time. See what I mean? That was, I think that was only two Bettys going off there. Aaron's got a trench gun, I think, and now I'm like, how many zombies are left? A few. <laughs> That was cracking when I, I, I both of us at the same time fought crawlers. So it's, uh, it's pretty good, me and, I, me and Aaron are on the same wavelength, uh, as such, so we exactly know when to make crawlers. But one thing Aaron was talking to me about in Doctor's Code, he's one of the weapon glitch areas. If you do not know how to do it, it's fine. Right. You buy, right, you buy them, you buy the box, okay? See what gun you get. You run to the perk machine, you buy a perk and pick up your gun. By doing it right, you should get you will get three guns, and in theory, Aaron will prove that you can get minus points. And I'm now going to go to the box because 
even though I love the Thompson, it's just not doing as much anymore. See, I'm trying to get, you might think, well, you got PPSH, why don't you use that? Well, I can't bother. Both of us have got the same amount of kills, which is quite good going. Aaron's got two downs, I've got one revive, that's the only difference, and he's got a few more headshots. Now, guys, this is a really underestimated submachine gun in Zombies, the Type 100 is actually decent. I just don't, it just, it's got a high, it's got, it just has less ammo, but it's got, it's got less ammo than Thompson, yes, but it's got a larger mag, so. I don't understand why people don't like it, to be honest. It's pretty decent pack of punch as well. And I think me and Aaron are both sorted now, and... <laughs> Already, as soon as I put jug, I get double whacked by crawlers, which is embarrassing. I love them headless crawlers. They are brilliant. <laughs> I love this. It's just that Aaron's going to nick my kill then, but they were, you were too slow, Aaron. So, I, I, you know what? I think if you put like monkey bombs in this map, it would probably ruin it. I think in the Black Ops, they have put monkey bombs in. I think, yeah, they're really incredibly useful, yes, but I. I think the idea of this map was to make it really difficult, and I wish when they did the Black Ops map pack, they didn't um, put um, they didn't put um, the Black Ops guns in. I wanted the World at War guns kept in. I don't know many. I would have done, let's say, a Black Ops version, a World at War version, because I think most people in the gaming community miss the old World at War guns. I miss the PPSH. I miss the MG. And I miss that, that's the two main guns I miss. Oh yeah, and the Browning, of course. See, I'm going to let it debate, leave a comment, which one do you think is better, the MG or the Browning? For me, personally, it's the MG, high rare fire, lower damage, yes, but the rare fire makes up for it, and it's quicker to reload. And I think I don't use any of the, tra <laughs> look at that, I love just watching the headless zombies, it's just, every zombie movie, you shoot them in there, they die. Try arc, oh no, can't do that, that makes it too easy. Now, I'm... I'm down my asking where Aaron is because I'm terrified. If he goes down, I won't be able to get him. And the thing is, you're gonna, it, you can hit. I just wish I could record what we're saying in the game. I'm taking the mic out of him now. He's gone down twice already. Now, usually I've gone down twice and Aaron hasn't gone that down at all. And I'm I'm just noobing it out. So I'm just. See, I'm being good. I'm trying not to use the PP. I'm trying not to use the PPSH. Aaron's um, making crawlers again for some reason. And I do a 360 and I get nothing. Great. Good honor. And you see, Aaron's tempted. We attempt, both of us attempt to get the last kill. Because so we can get another good. And sorry guys, if, so I got lost in my train of thought. What I'm going to say though is, with um, World at War, now, for me, World at War Zombies, I think, I'm not sure whether I enjoy, I'm, I think the guns in World of War are better. Generally, I generally think the guns are better in World of War. Ah, oh, the BAR. Browning automatic rifle, as it's, as I get keep being told off for, is a brilliant gun. I think I get noob tubes, but I love the M1. It's brilliant pack of guns. It's pretty decent, actually, pack of guns as well. Rad firing, it's good. And I get a trench gun. That's good gun. That is a really good gun. Maybe not at this round for zombies, but for dogs. The dogs never get any stronger, remember. <coughs> so it's really useful for that. And so for do and the thing that I like I just dogs on this map annoy me. I remember the first time I actually played this map, I didn't know there was dogs in here. I never watched any of the trailers, so I I, I my mate was telling me, Oh there's dogs in this map. Now I thought they'd be like the dogs in um multiply, like the little things. They're normal sized dogs. So when a flaming dog ran at me that's half the size of me, I was terrified. And uh, that's another weapon I missed. The flame. <laughs> I think I think this video deserves a like because the good old flame for that. <laughs> uh, Aaron's gonna I was gonna Aaron's gonna burn it, I was gonna shoot it. Now the flame for me is annoying if you work with someone and you you're working together in a small area because you can't see a thing, can you? And it's dog style. So me and Aaron both have got shotgun, I think. So we're gonna really, we're really gonna lock down this area. And um, see, me and Aaron will work together. So I'm telling Aaron, don't shoot until I shoot. And uh, Aaron's got a ray gun. See, Aaron was lucky. You get see, I get the PP. Aaron got the ray gun. Which one would I prefer? The PP, of course. Black Ops. It's always the 
<laughs> so that the dogs got confused because I was caught blocking the door and the dogs were targeting Aaron. So the dogs don't change their targeting on this map. They don't. They only t if they lock onto a person, that's the person they're targeting. Even if, even if the person <laughs> he's gone for his dinner, I'm just teabagging him at the moment. He's gone. He's going for his dinner quickly, so no, yeah, he's come back. He's eating it. So I was like, if you're quick, if you, he's probably, he's running, and, he's eating and playing, which takes a bit of skill. I'll give him credit for that. It does take some skill to eat and play zombies. And I get hit in the back. See, my favourite thing on zombies is jumping. You can see how much I jump around the map. Because for me, dodging, it's good dodging the zombies. Now, you can see, you might be thinking, oh, round twelve, we're still moving around the map quite fluidly. We're we're using the main area. See, on solo, I would just open that door behind us and do the train with a Wunderwaffel. Or I could do a train here. Simbite, see guys, there is no pressure on us really at all. I've only taken a few hits really in the entire game. They've been a bit close, yeah. And me and Aaron are on both very similar kills. Both similar amount of headshots. Which I think is really cool. That we're so... Similar in that style because both of us have got different. Well, both of us have got the same playing style as well. I just look. We are both quite aggressive players on them, isn't it? The only way, the only thing we difference on now is um Derry's. Now I used to like everyone else camp on the balcony, but since since Black Ops came out, I've decided not to. So I run around the spawn area, which which does take a bit of skill at times because it can get quite rough around there quite quickly and frozen zombie woo G great freeze frame I love that zombie how it's frozen it's like sort of oh it's Aaron knocked it down that was rude Aaron I I mean it's just so much fun we're just having fun again it, we, we weren't even I weren't even going for the achievement on this I was just I I'd said to Aaron I'd love to do it I'd send my notifications so uh, you can't see when I've done it look at that. Aaron's got four more kills for me that's it so not really much, and that's an instant kill right at the end of the round, as usual. Well done. I'm sorry, the game has a horrible habit of doing that. End of rounds, or the worst thing was round one, moon, nuke, first zombie I left in, so I lost all my um, other zombies, which annoyed me, because I lost. Now here's a little easter egg there, there's the meteor, which, which contains element 115, we believe, so that's part of the story. And I shot it, as you do, because then the character says so. See, so yeah, there's loads of little, there is, that's the only thing real on this map that we found. There's bloodstains and there's the hangman, but the hangman's significant. And I think, if I remember correctly, we might have got the teddy bear. I think I haven't got the teddy bear. Yeah, it's it. This is a weapon glitch area. I think I'll do the weapon glitch here to show you guys how to do it. Now, I don't like training in this area, but I can do it. I can train in, I can almost train in nearly any area, I've been the speed code if I remember correctly. That's how lucky we were, the perks which I need and I want are all alright. And I, I don't know where that zombie came from, it must have broken through the window, flipping quick. And I think I was telling him we can do the weapon glitch here, so don't use the box too much. I mean perfectly. See, I'm against glitches. The only glitch I will ever use is weapons, because for zombies, I that makes really no impact on hacking the score. So you get a third weapon now. If I think if you gave most games a choice, would you like a third weapon? Yeah. <laughs> no one's gonna moan about it. All right. And look how long this zombie survives on fire for. It's ridiculous. Come on. Yeah. So I was saying that long now. That was cruel. I told him off for that, guys. That was really cruel. That was cruelty to zombies. As you know, and uh, you know, I'm just. I, I think I've told Aaron we'll play a bit more defensively now. I don't know whether this is the round when I have a heart attack and I thought we had died. I, I don't know whether it was. I think I mentioned I started round 13 on looking for some. Now 13 is not. I think the second time I ever played zombies, I got to round 13, and then I sort of kicked this wall where I couldn't get past round 13 for ages. The thing is, uh, we're still moving around the map quite, we're still moving around this area, we're trying to, because it's quite slow at the start really, isn't it? See, Aaron's got no problem, I'm, see, Aaron's got a definite advantage over me with his weaponry. I just protect his backside, and the thing is, I don't mind if he gets more kills than me, because he has to open all the doors then, and I can get all the stuff. 
No, I'm joking, guys. Between my friends, we always um, share. We do. We always share. We don't just go. What? I don't, I don't know how he went down. Reagan splash damage, I think it was. And so I had to pull out the PP. And now this is why I love the PP so much. Look at the look at the they're just mowing. I'm mowing them down. I can't remember if I game up. I think I do though. I think I risked my life to game up. I risked my life to save him. I'm such a nice guy. What was my gratitude? Nothing. So I had to buy drug again. So it didn't take him. So and I almost get caught blocked in a corner. I'm looking at my. I'm looking at the PP out because I don't think I would have survived the world. And Max Vodka. It's a good idea we got that. So anyway guys, the video is already racking up. Flipping out, it's gone quick. Well, for me it's gone quick. So I'm hoping you're enjoying this guys because I love it. I'm, I'm really enjoying this. So if you're liking the video, please drop a like. Please drop a single like. It helps me out, it inspires me, all that rubbish. Can, or if you like my videos, generally subscribe to my channel. I upload videos nearly every day, at least once a day. I um, think on average I upload two videos a day, mostly zombies. So leave comment share favor all the usual so what i'm going to say is, hope you've enjoyed it there's the evil laugh from 77 johnny is signing out so peace out guys peace out ring around the rosy a pocket full of posies we all fall down <laughs>